what's up guys this is a twin flame update for the collective i'm ashley gillard and this reading was brought to you by my book the personification of beauty it is on amazon i highly recommend it the overall energy of this reading we have move beyond ancestral patterns connect with your emotions Look how beautiful that card is. And we have, the Hermit is right under there. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Three of Pentacles. And we have the Emperor. And the Three of Cups. A lot of threes in this reading. We have the Emperor and we have the Three of Cups right under the Emperor. interesting so what is it saying this is saying connect with your emotions identify the things that you really want that really fulfills you and let go of you know when it says let go of move beyond ancestral patterns move beyond generational generational curses move beyond negative energy and negative ways of thinking and doing things that was passed down from generation to generation that could be failed relationships uh, you know failed tactics in those relationships um insecurity and issues that was brought down or caused by your environment or your ancestral um, environment is saying move beyond those things but also is saying move beyond the expectation sometimes we had an expectation of who our partner was going to be or and we're you know we get in these energies that's codependent or we get in these energies that's stagnant or that's stuck because we have this idea of what things are supposed to be or what things are supposed to look like because of, it looked like this for our parents or it looked like this for it's just what we thought it would look like but Sometimes we are not 100% correct in what we think um, that things that we're not 100% correct in our thinking and the way that things should be. Sometimes we have to release those patterns. We have to release those thoughts of what we thought, you know, because we also have the five of pentacles in this reading as well. And just release it and, and focus on what brings us fulfillment really. Focus on. Is it was it really this person that I wanted or did I just think this or was I just stuck on the energy or was I just stuck on the thought of being right or did I just want this because this is what happened with you know my mom was with my dad and I wanted my parent my kids to have you know this you know two parents in a both household or you know it could be anything it's about releasing things that are not the way that they should be in hopes to find what really truly fulfills you in hopes to connect with your true emotions that bring you emotional fulfillment you know i'll attest to thinking someone was my twin flame thinking someone was my divine partner and you know if i think about it to this day it's like to be honest with myself you know i didn't know much about that person i did get the spiritual download i do know that that's a good person, but do he really have what it takes to be my partner and to bring me fulfillment as it pertains to a partnership? You know, you want to be fulfilled within yourself, but you want your partner to match that fulfillment as well. So sometimes we just stuck in these ideas because we just get stuck in these readings. We get stuck in these spiritual downloads that we think. Um, are true and we may misunderstand sometimes so spirit is saying release some of those thoughts and energies of what you of the way you thought things should be and focus on self-fulfillment and allow things to be the way as they should be and that could be pertains to you know your life and creating a solid foundation but it also could attain to you know an emperor and three of cups it could be you know a situation with multiple people multiple divine masculines or multiple people who has the potential to be a to match your feminine energy or to match your masculine energy or to match you as a partner so um yeah focus on fulfillment and allow spirit to work with you to bring in those people including a masculine you know and i'm saying masculine as if i'm speaking with um a person who embodies a feminine energy and masculine but who her partner a partnership you're looking for a masculine energy but anyway 
allow spirit to bring in your divine partner allow spirit to bring in the person that you were created to be with whether it be a male or a female allow spirit to match your vibe allow spirit to bring in something that match your vibration and your energy instead of focusing on people who it may not work out with Contain in that energy we have your the first oracle card which is autumn release the old and rest it's time to let go it's time to let go of who we thought we should be with. It's time to let go of negative energy. It's time to let go of uh, being stuck on codependent relationships and partnerships or ideas or desires. It's time to move forward and, and rest knowing that Spirit and life in the universe and a law of attraction will draw in the people that you need But first before you can draw in the new and connect with those on your vibration You have to raise your vibration You don't want to remain in the same vibration of the old and attract the new at the same time You have to release those that no longer fit in your picture Regardless of what you thought or who you thought you would be with um, If you resonate with this, it's time to release those people and move forward then we have the Four of Pentacles. Sorry, this light. Four of Pentacles, clarified by the Seven of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Eight of Swords. You're holding on, holding on to these energies, holding on to these people, places, and things, and energies that don't serve you, keeping you trapped. Again, if you want to raise your vibration, you. You, there are certain habits that you have to let go of, certain things you have to let go of, regardless of if it was passed down from generation to generation, regardless of how you obtain those energies. It's time to let go of them because it's keeping you trapped in. How can you elevate when you're trapped in negative energies? Focusing on the wrong things. You know, you're holding on to people that no longer fits in your life and your journey. If they don't fit in your journey, they have to go. Unless you want to remain trapped, if you want to keep stagnate yourself, if you want to be complacent and you don't want to grow, don't take this advice. Then it's not for you. The twin flame journey is not for you. Because the twin flame journey is for those who are advancing, raising their vibrations, matching the energy of the universe, allowing things to flow to them so that they can be matched with their divine partner and become one with the spirit of God. If you're not there, then remain holding on to these things that aren't, aren't working out for you. People, places, and things and remain in bondage. But that's not what you're for. That's not what, you know, life is about. It's about evolving. And it's time to let go of, it could be people who you thought your partner was. Whether it be male or female. If I'm talking to a male or female, you know, whatever. It could be who you thought your partner was. It could be thought what you thought your life would look like. But it's time to let go of those energies and flow with the universe. Flow with the fulfillment in your heart. Flow with yourself. Raise your vibrations and flow with yourself. Flow with your higher self. So that you can attract the people, places, and things that belong in your life. Instead of holding on to things that don't. Because when you hold on to things that don't belong in your life, that's a lack of trust. That's a lack of faith and a lack of trust. Seven of Wands. There's jealousy, babe. Whatever, you know, there you have to let, let go of jealousy. Let go of jealousy. Let go of, I believe that's Leo energy too. Uh, but let fire sign energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But let go of heartbreak. Let go of jealousy. Let go of. This energy that you aren't enough. Sometimes we get jealous of things because, I don't know, it just hurts our feelings to feel like we weren't enough for these people. If the person you thought was your divine partner chose someone else, that's their loss. Don't look at it as if you weren't good enough. Look at it as if you guys weren't on the same vibration, on the same frequency, on the same path. Something didn't mix, so it didn't work out. 
release it and let it go. And if it's meant to return to you, it will when it starts to match your vibration. Sometimes our masculines, our feminines, our partners don't come to us because they have the inability to match our vibration at that time. And that's okay because you don't want to lower your vibration by inviting that energy into your life. I had an experience with a masculine um, who I thought my divine partner was. He was fighting some demons. And those demons try. I, I had to fight off demons because I'm an empath. I'm a spiritual person. I'm seriously connected. When I was around him or when he would like I would talk on the phone with him during certain occasions. I would end up having to fight demons when I got off the phone with him or when I when he left. But I invited that I knew what was happening and I continued to invite that energy into my environment. So you put yourself in harm's way. You put yourself in a position where you're exerting energy that could be used for creating. That can be used to advance and, you know, level you up. But instead you're fighting lower level demons because someone in your environment doesn't match your vibration. You gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. Then we have the Queen of Cups. Look how beautiful this card is. The Queen of Cups. My beautiful cards. I get fingerprints. I don't want this. Put them all. The Queen of Cups. Master your emotions. Go within. Figure out what fulfills you. What makes you happy? What kind? What do you actually want in a partner without thinking of a person? What are the qualities that you want in yourself? What are the qualities that you want in a partner? Without thinking of someone else and what qualities they bring. Forget them. What makes you happy? What brings you fulfillment? What inspires you? The Queen of Cups masters faith too. The Queen of Cups is inspiring is nurturing of self putting you in a position to keep the faith putting you in a position to step out on faith and i'm getting that because sometimes when you release somebody that doesn't belong in your life it, it takes a leap of faith it takes faith to release people because you're trusting that there is better out there for you if it wasn't better off for you, it's hard to release somebody um, when you don't believe that it's better out there or that you're good enough, but you are. And once you put out that energy that you want in return, nurture yourself. Start nurturing yourself. Start balancing your emotions, emotions and understanding what fulfills you emotionally so that you can attract that same energy. Again, Four of Pentacles. Hold on to the right things, let go of the wrong things. Hold on to things that bring you satisfaction and fulfillment and let go of things that don't. Hold on to your faith. Stay inspired. Hold on to yourself. Let go of things that don't uplift you. Let go of things that don't inspire you. Let go of things that don't raise your vibration. And let go of things that don't assist you but don't bring you and help you get to the next level if they're not helping you and they're just taking away your energy then maybe that's something that you should release instead of holding on to let go of expectations i want to i want to show this the knight of cups and the knight of swords it's like the battle of the emotions and the battle of the mind let go of things that don't follow, that don't flow with your mind, body, and spirit. When you have to, when your emotions is going against your mind, something is off. Sometimes we teach or spiritual teachers teach, you know, take the leap of faith and ignore your intellect. No, it, it should go with both. There's a balance between faith and intellect, emotions and intellect. If you ever had somebody in your heart but your mind was against it. It's like you know you shouldn't be with that person. But you had a lack of control of your emotions. So you did it anyway. Your emotions and your mind should flow together. If something doesn't make sense intellectually, question it. Ask questions. And ask and, and see where you are emotionally. See 
why you're making that decision is it because it's something in the past or something you're holding on to that you need to let go of or is it something that what is it if it's bringing you emotional fulfillment cool but it shouldn't be at a cost to your mind your mind and your emotions shouldn't be a battle when you're with someone. If they're hurting you emotionally, release them. Protect your emotions. Remain balanced in your emotions. And remain solid in your mind as well. Your mind and your emotions should not have to fight over a person. We already have... You know, to make sacrifices in this journey, take leaps of faith, and sometimes our intellect doesn't align with that. Sometimes our, you know, because we're we're thinking too small. You have to figure out how to balance that. Don't let don't enter a person into that mix as well, where your emotions and your mind are fighting over whether you should be with a person because it doesn't make sense. And when I say it doesn't make sense, I'm not talking about cultural implications and traditions. I'm talking about it doesn't make sense because they're hurting you or they're rejecting you or it's unrequited love or it's not good for you. Your intellect is telling you this person isn't good for you, but your emotions want them. You got to figure out why. What What is that codependency coming from? Where is that codependency coming from? Where is that? Is it coming from a lack of fulfillment? And you have to ask yourself, what's causing that lack of fulfillment? Again, go inside your emotions. Go within. Connect with your emotions and figure out what brings you fulfillment and what actions you're taking. Make sure... Sorry, I'm looking at my nail because I just ate some flame eyes. <laughs> Make sure your actions are in alignment with things that bring you emotional fulfillment but that make sense to you as well. Then we have transformation. But death. Endings and new beginnings. Out with the old and with the new. Maybe it's time to release the old, period. How long do you have to hold on to something that's not going to work? Or that's not working in your favor? Sometimes you just have to let go. In order for new beginnings to begin, old, old things have to end. That's old habits. That's old thoughts. That's old patterns. Old relationships. Things that don't serve your future. If it's meant to be in your future, it will raise, it will align with the vibration that is in alignment with your future. If it's not, it's time to let go. Then we have <laughs> the moon. Clarified by... The Ten of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Things are happening underneath the surface. You got to keep the faith. These things that are ending, spirit is ending things for you. To open a door for new beginnings. And that's the next break. You know, it's right here. But spirit is letting, spirit is assisting you to end things. It's all happening underneath the surface because it's a reason for it. Everything is happening for a reason. Things that are ending, happening for a reason. Things that are beginning, happening for a reason. Spirit is working on it with you. You know, it may you may not see the bigger picture right now. You may not see the full picture right now. You may only see part of it. But what's going on is for your good. I always say everything that happened is for my good, even though it hurts, even when it hurts. You know, years later or a month later or a day later, you're like, oh, I'm glad it happened because it led me here. But it takes some time to get in that energy. You just, with the moon, you may be uncertain. But the spirit is really working on your behalf and you may not see it. Putting an end to things that don't serve your future. Clearing the way for new beginnings. Then we have the Three of Wands. I am so embarrassed by my point nine nails. Three of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. 
Ten of Cups, Queen of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Once you're over this hump, once you're once these things end and you get over this hump, the spirit is, you know, you and spirit is working on the, these endings and new beginnings. You have fulfillment, you have happiness, you have joy, you have you're alluring, you're attractive, people being attracted to you, you're, you're a leader, you're, um, you have new beginnings in your career, you have new beginnings in finances, you have opportunities, opportunities are flowing to you, you're in the flow of the energy of the universe, your plans are going off without a hitch, you know, I get the energy of everything I touch turns to gold here, everything I touch turns to gold. I'm happy in my home life. I'm happy in my career. I'm happy in the position that I am in in life. But in order to get here to this level of fulfillment, you have to connect with your emotions and figure out what it is that you're trying to manifest. What is it that's going to bring you fulfillment? What it is that what do you want? What do you want? What do you want out of your family life? What do you want out of your career? What plans are in order? What plans do you want to go without a hitch? All this energy that you're in, this releasing out with the old, in with the new, this releasing, this, you know, internal control of your emotions and having faith that the things that are ending is spirit working on your behalf leads you to fulfillment, leads you to happiness, leads you to a better place. This is not even nobody that I need to be talking to. Leads you to wholeness. Leads you to health. You have the light right here working on your behalf. Then you have the king of pentacles. You have masculine, a lot of masculine energy in this reading. King of pentacles clarified by the five of swords and the hermit. This five of swords, I'm not getting competitive energy. I'm getting um, Libra season energy. You have a solid foundation being created. You have Emperor and King of Pentacles energy bringing in partnership, partnering with spirit. But honestly, what I'm getting from here is just a solid foundation created in your life. More abundant. More power, more light, more life, and it's near. And it's crazy because we have three of swords, five of swords, and we have all of them here. It's Libra season. This is coming during Libra season. This autumn card is a 22 time period as well. Then these cards here, these came out as well. The first thing that came out was the strength card. This is time now, Leo season. Remain strong. Blessings are near. And when are these blessings coming? During Libra season. With the Three of Swords clarifying that. Oh, I'm so mad about all these fingerprints. Blessings near during Libra season. Leo season is manifesting blessings for you. That's going to manifest during Libra season. I was just talking to myself earlier, like, you know, thinking to myself, like, you have to realize that the work you put in right now to heal, the work you put in right now to balance, the work you put in right now to manifest, the energy you're putting into your projects, the energy you're putting into your life, and this is me talking to myself, it's not going to manifest tomorrow. You know, the work that I did last season is manifesting right now. If I cried last season and I didn't do no work, well, that's probably I'm not reaping the rewards because I didn't put the work in because I was in turmoil. A lot of this retrograde, I was in a lot of turmoil. A lot of people were in turmoil during this retrograde. So now we're building because Leo season, I've been told in my readings, is to build. We're building so that next season, Libra season, and I know we have to go through Virgo season, but during Libra season, that's what I'm getting in my reading, things manifest because we put in the work now, because we're doing the work and getting our hands dirty now. So remain strong. Remain strong. Blessings are near. Your hard work will pay off. 
a solid foundation is being created in your life. But it's time to release. It's time to clear out. You know, when you buy new clothes and when you go shopping and you go on a shopping spree, you clean out your closet and make room for the new. It's time to clean out your closet of your heart. Clean out the closet of your heart from people who don't belong, energies that don't belong, things that don't make sense. Your mind and your heart don't have to fight. They can be in alignment with each other. They can flow with each other and flow with the energies in the universe as well. Clear out negativity. Clear out negative thoughts and pour into yourself instead. Pour positive energy thoughts and vibes into yourself. Because we know like this journey can be tumultuous. This journey can be challenging. This journey, you know, this twin flame journey is not an easy one. I ask myself sometimes, what was I thinking when I began this? What was I thinking when I manifested some of the things that I manifested? You know, because manifestations come with the burden of responsibility of the actions that are, and the energies required to manifest them. And I ask myself, what was I thinking all the time? Because this journey is not for the weak. But we're here now. So clear out your art. Clear out any negative energies that's going to prevent you from getting to the next level. So if you want to win during Libra season, carry the burdens of clearing out negativity. Carry the burdens of putting the action required to manifest your goals. Carry the burden of releasing things that no longer serve you so that during Libra season, things can align for you the way spirit would like it to. So your blessings can align. So abundance can align. Fulfillment can align. And new opportunities can come in. Clear out the old and make room for the new. I hope this helps. This is a very different twin flame reading for me today. This is very different, very different energy than I'm getting today. But a lot of people are fighting battles so I can understand and including myself. So I understand why I would get a reading like this today. I wish you love, light, and more life. Hey guys, I'm working on a numerology course. Where it's teaching, actually a spirit communication, it's teaching numerology, gematria, dream interpretation, um, communication, being a vessel of communication to the spirit realm yourself, and um, signs and synchronicities. And I cannot wait to release it. It should release sometime this week, and you will be the first to know. I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace.